Lazy. Those of you who have been following us a long time will know that the very first video that we made was also from Jurassic Park. Except back then, we did the kitchen scene, because the T-Rex scene just always seemed too difficult. But now, after years of editing Owl Katie videos, it seemed like I was finally ready for it. Lizzie, say hi to the camera. This behind the scenes is going to be a little bit different from the previous ones, in that I will break down each shot by showing you the process of filming Lizzie in front of a green screen, but also show you how it all comes together in edit. Okay, let's take it from the top. In this first shot, I needed Lizzie to go straight, look to the left, then look behind her at the other car. Getting the right shot can and usually takes a while, but what's most important is keeping Lizzie's spirits up by continuously encouraging her even when the shot doesn't work for us. Of course, getting a shot to work is so much more than just getting Lizzie to act on cue. It's lining up the shot properly, which always takes me a few tries, and adding elements like this platform to match the perspective of the original shot. That's obviously if I remember to press record. Oh, but sometimes when everything goes well, you get this. Straight, left, now look behind you. There we go. Blink and you miss it. That's why it's always important to be on high alert and shoot at a high frame rate so you catch all the action. That's for the nerds. Now that we have our shots, let's go back and take a look at the movie to see how we removed the dinosaur. So first things first, we need to generate what's called a clean plate, which is essentially the shot without the dinosaur. Now I go through the movie until I find a single image that doesn't have the dinosaur that I can then track to the motion of the camera. Looks pretty weird, right? That's because it's missing a lot of the elements that make this still image look like a video. So let's add rain, atmosphere, lighting, and bring it all together in our clean plate. Now it looks good enough to bring in Lizzie. Matching the lighting on Lizzie's fur is a whole other beast that would require its own tutorial, but what I can say now is that mostly what it is is eyeballing by trying to match as best I can the lighting and color from the original shot. Okay, this shot might appear simple. All she needs to do is look behind her and walk that fluffy butt all the way towards camera. There's plenty of ways to get Lizzie's attention. There's the sound of my voice. There's toys. But of course, there's treats. Ah, Lizzie, I'm doing a tutorial. So in this case, and in fact in most cases, I just check the bag of treats. Et voilà. voilà bien. None of these shots are terribly complicated as long as I continue to keep Lizzie's eyes on the treat. Like in this one where all she has to do is look up. Or in this one where I need her to very quickly turn her head towards camera. So to do that, I start up here and move fast down here. Nailed it. I love this shot, I just couldn't find a place to use it. Maybe in an upcoming video, who knows? Okay, let's talk about this shot. This one was really important that it worked, and I always thought of it as the turning point in the video, in that the joke begins here. So the first thing I needed to do was to open up the shot to make room for the hands, then film my wife Olivia lifting up the can and opening it. That's right, we got married last month, thank you very much. And after some masking, simply match the colors and lighting of the original shot. Which reminds me, this video is sponsored by Chewies. Chewies, not a real cat food brand. Also, this is not our cat. That's right, we don't have any sponsors. If you want to support us, we sell shirts. Okay, okay, we knew this last one was a little bit tricky, so I'm going to explain it as best I can, so just uh, bear with me. So the first thing you do in a shot like this is mask all the elements that go in front of Lizzie. So in this case, it's the kids. This process is called rotoscoping and you have to do it for every frame. So my advice is listen to a good podcast while you do it. Next, we want to match the background color, even though it will be mostly covered, just so we have it as a base layer. Now the hardest step is finding the right texture of scratch glass that we can then bring into our editor and mesh warp it frame by frame to match the motion of the original glass. Whew. And once all that is done, you can finally bring in Lizzie into the scene. This second shot is built very similarly. So the first thing you do is rotoscope all arms and legs that go in front of the glass. Again, you have to do this frame by frame. So really, find a good podcast. 
Now I found a good animated texture that I use as a way to recreate the dripping rain on the roof. And once all of that is done, we can finally bring in Lizzie. So in this case, she was chewing on a toy that I needed to remove. So to do that, I simply used Adobe's After Effects Content Aware Fill. So Adobe, please sponsor me. Et voila! Ah, this one's a pain and also required a lot of rotoscoping. I remember editing it on a plane and a person next to me was wondering what I was doing the whole flight. So this one goes out to you. 28C. Ah, I love this shot because it turned out to be a happy accident. The original plan was pretty different. The plan was for Lizzie to attack the car similar to the way the T-Rex does it. Think of this box right here as being the car. After many takes, we rewatched the whole scene but thought that something was missing. The joke wasn't working. Now all of you who have cats will know that when a cat is about to be fed, in reality, they're super happy. Luckily, I had just the shot and it was a complete accident. She was being cute and so I gave her a pet. And somehow, it worked. As for the car tilting on its own, what it took was tracking the motion of the car visible to us in Mocha for After Effects. Mocha, if you'd like to sponsor us, we're available. Okay, I'll admit, this shot looks a little bit weird. If you watch closely, it even looks like I gave up halfway through. That's because I had to remove both the smoke and the light generated from the flare. But after a little compositing magic and filming myself in front of a green screen, it all came together. So let's call it good enough. Okay, this one's pretty straightforward. I just want to show you how I managed to get Lizzie's attention. I just waited for her to be distracted and then I clapped really loud and that's it. And finally, I'll leave you on some footage of Lizzie chasing a treat because that's all it took for this shot to work. And actually these are all good takes. So I simply picked the one that I thought was funniest. Fun fact, at this point in the original scene, the car is actually upside down. So for continuity, I've had to flip it back around. I hope you've enjoyed this behind the scenes. I'd like to give a huge thank you to all our Patreons, especially some of you who have been with us since day one and have made all this work possible. As for everyone else, please like, subscribe and continue to share our videos. I know we don't post very often, but we're incredibly grateful. So see you soon.